guys probably saw this in the in the YouTube feed and we're like, oh shit, free stuff. Well, it's true, there there is free stuff today, guys. Everybody's happy. So um today we're gonna be going over Black Sandwich, which is a new plugin I made. It's not gonna be in the same directory, it's probably gonna be Sex Men, not Sex Man, I misspelled that. It's kinda weird right there. But it'll be Sex Men plugins, all caps, go into this black sandwich. For the versions that I'm releasing, there's a 720p and a 1080p version. Pick the one for the comp size we're using. This is the 720 version. There's no difference between the two, it's just I didn't make a universal plugin. Have that plan for the pro version, which I'll be releasing later. First to the contest winners and then later on to everybody else. You know how it is. So um, let's get to it. Let me explain this really quick. So you have all of these different variables you can switch and play with. And you're like, well, what, what would that do? You know, you saw in the video before, I mean, you can make it go up and down. Fake aspect ratio is pretty sexy. In addition to that, you can make a little addition by switching up this colored addition to black bars. First, you don't see anything. I left it black just in case someone accidentally moves that. But um, if you want to change the color to the addition, you go to these additions, red, green, and blue. Red, green, and blue channels, 0 to 1, 1 being full on, 0 being off. Turn red to 1, hey, it's red. And some green, hey, it's yellow. And some blue, oh, it's white. Yeah, all zeros make black, all ones make white. Not too hard, right? This um, addition to alpha channel, you can ignore that for now. I mean, it, it kind of helps you make a grayscale, but that's really going to be for the pro version. I just left that in was testing some stuff with it. Same thing for the black one. I mean, if you turn it all the way off, it'll just be black. It doesn't do anything. So don't worry about it. Anyways, you change the addition's height, makes it bigger. I limited it to 30 pixels because beyond that, you you should have just done it in the, in the main thing. It's like, come on, son. Anyways, um, you have that going like that. You can also, uh, time cue this so check this out this is gonna be pretty sweet I'm gonna start it off at zero up to this point the bars will come in to about here and then right around actually right around here I want to have this red drop out so have the red right there and then drop it off and then halfway through that I'll have the green start to drop off you guys are like, wait, what is he doing? This makes no sense. So, relax. Relax, son. Wait. So, while this is rendering or whatever it does here, making a ramp preview, I'll, uh, I'll run down the door. The exact program wasn't used, but like um, the idea composition I made behind the Poke montage moving, that was pretty much the same way. Pretty much. I mean, intense. Um, answer. Let's check it out. So, as you can see, it went it went down, and then the color morphed to blue. It's pretty cool, I think at least. Could add some emphasis to your smooths, your cutscenes, whatever. And then, in addition to that, um, if you really felt like getting into it, you could actually ease in the bar by pressing F9 on this. I think I went talked about that in one of my After Effects dudes tutorials, whatever. And that bars come down kind of fast, and like at the end, yeah. Anyways, that's it. Links in the description, installation in the description. description. It's your prescription.